<clears throat> this happens to everyone. <clears throat> so if it happens to you, don't worry about it. See, right? When you're weaving your thread, sometimes it breaks. I'm going to show you how I fix that. See, there it is. It's supposed to be right there, and that you see right there. And I'll show you how I fixed it myself. <clears throat> First of all, I'm going to take my screwdriver, if I can find it, where I put it at. Well, either way, I don't have to use that. I can just use this needle. I gotta tuck that in underneath. I'm gonna tuck it up where it broke. I'm gonna just push it up, up in there. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Yeah, see there? I just tucked it up in there, and that's the broken piece right there. What I'm gonna do is it was going this way from this. this it's on the top. There's the bottom string. That's the top string. That's this string goes down here, and this one goes on top. So what I'm going to do is come from the turn it around and come from the top here. I'm going to go back a few, then make it go through this way so it comes out that way, and just keep on going. Let's see where am I at? Here, right here. I'll go back a where about three of them, three base links back and then it's just like tucking in the ends um, I lost where I was at okay there we go and then I don't try to go through a whole thing at one time I just go through maybe a couple I gotta have pliers for this because it, sometimes it's kind of hard to pull through but I'll pull it through like that once I get the needle through I'll pull the rest of it through. I, I try not to, I try to be careful not to uh, pull that one all the way through, probably just about that much. Then I go back and I keep on going. I go through again, but this time I'm going to come out where it broke at. Like that. And then I'm going to pull it through again. Sometimes it takes some effort. Sometimes I gotta use all my strength. Ah, there we go. And then just pull it through. Let's see, make sure I'm the three and I'm in the letters and getting uh, crossed or twisted. Then I just make it straight and there it is. Then I'll just take this other needle and just straighten it up. Make it look better. Tuck this in where I where I went in at. And there you go. And you can just keep on going. Nobody, not even me, once it's done, can't really tell. But there it is, that's how I fix a broken uh, piece of leather. But the only thing that you can't fix is if it's one of these that go up and down. With these that go up and down, if the one of those breaks, you're just going to take it apart and start all over. And that's where patience comes in. And you see there, this is kind of twisted. The way I get that untwisted is just twist this side the way it needs to go, then twist this side the same way and just pull and it goes right. And yeah, you might have to fix this up a little bit just to make it look like nothing ever happened, that ever broke, but still, say once you're done, well, you, you can't even tell. All right, that, I just thought I'd throw that in because I was getting this ball ready for the video. But it, it so happened that a uh, piece broke. I just thought I'd shoot this video to 
tag on the end to show y'all how I do it to fix fix a broken uh, piece of leather when that happens. All right.